Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Caitlin. We're going to Kansas City. We're headed to Kansas City for a super short weekend. We're going for Alex's cousin's graduation party. We would normally just bring carry-on luggage for such a quick trip like this. But whenever we're visiting family and friends, we try and bring some homebrew to share with them. So we are going to check a bag. But for whatever reason, whenever we tell people about how we are bringing beer on a plane to someone else, they get kind of miffed by it and they're like, wait, what? You bring beer? Like, how do you do that? Aren't you worried that it's going to explode everywhere? And we're not. And we don't really understand why it's that big of a deal. So we're going to show you how we do it and you can do it too. We want to make sure that there's something soft lining the bottom of the suitcase. Oftentimes we like to use sweatshirts or whatever the softest, fluffiest thing is that we're already bringing with on the trip. That's just to make sure that it doesn't bang against anything. Ultimately, we're going to want to line the entire outside of the suitcase. We want to take every single bottle and wrap them individually with something. And that's because the biggest threat is that these bottles will end up clinking together. We don't want any possible glass on glass activity. Now, rather than just putting these wherever within this suitcase, we're going to take every single one of those wrapped up bottles and put them inside of a garbage bag, which will be tied shut. And that's yeah. just because in case something were to break, we want to, first of all, protect our own stuff that's on the outside of the bag, all of our squishy clothes and whatever that's lining the luggage, but also because we don't want to end up messing up someone else's stuff. So once we have each of those bottles, again, individually wrapped and then inside the bag and the bag is sealed shut, we're going to take any other miscellaneous garments, hopefully relatively soft ones, and line the outside of the suitcase, and then take any last remaining things and lay them down over the surface. So we have now a complete surrounding of soft padding. security is it doesn't matter how much liquid we have in our carry-on containers. So I'm buying all the liquid. Some of our family that we're going to see used to live in Eugene, Oregon, and when you get used to having Ninkasi in your backyard, you get a little spoiled. So we just have to get them a little fix on our trip to Kansas City. Okay, I spoke too soon, you guys. Yeah, first time ever we have had a, uh, we, we haven't yet unpacked it, but something broke in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and blame it on TSA because we know they've been in our bag. Mm -hmm. um, so there's definitely some. Oh, there's the hole. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like it has gotten out a little bit, so we'll see. The unfortunate thing about using our, our clothes to wrap everything up means that now all of our clothes need to be washed. But we're staying in an Airbnb, so they have a washer and dryer. This is fine. Mmm, <laughs> beer. I know. It's... Wow, wow. Alright, this bottle of wine is fine, but there are just shards Ooh. of glass everywhere. Oh. So, uh... Wow, just decimated. What happened, do you think? Ooh! So this was our bottle of grapefruit IPA, and 
and it is just smashed. How? It would have taken a lot of impact, I think, to... So, maybe they really threw the bag. Yeah. Maybe TSA got jealous and smashed a bottle. Seriously. We'll never know. But let this be a lesson to you at home that maybe don't trust everything that Brewing with Alex and Caitlin <laughs> tells you to do. <laughs> hey guys, editing Caitlin here. When we made this trip to Kansas City and started filming uh, for this video, we thought that we were going to be hitting up some more breweries and tap rooms while we were in Kansas City. The point of the trip was actually to visit family, not to do anything beer related. And so we did visit with family. We had a great time, got some really great quality time in with our family, but we didn't really do any beer stuff. So I guess this episode is actually more about how to pack beer while you're traveling. Um, and obviously one of the bottles broke. That's the first time that's ever happened to us in the three years that we've been brewing beer and bringing it with us back to the Midwest to share with family and friends a couple times a year. So statistically that's probably going to happen, but I don't know, we might've done something wrong. Alex packing the bottles this time or it might have just been handled a little bit more roughly than usual, uh, packing in the airplane and whatnot. Who knows? Anyway, the point is that uh, even though we were super confident and cocky about our bottles not breaking, obviously that can still happen. So a couple things that I wanted to mention that we didn't mention while we were packing is that this trip was a super casual trip. If we had been going somewhere for, say, a wedding or a dressier event where we had a bunch of nice clothes with us, Obviously, we would have not used those clothes to pack beer. Uh, we might have traveled with two pieces of luggage and put the nicer stuff in one and the beer stuff in the other, um, or we might just not have traveled with the beer at all. Uh, all of the beer that we packed was light. Um, so if you're traveling, obviously, with any dark beers, you don't want to be wrapping your clothes, your light-colored clothes, around the dark beer in case something breaks. Um, with light beer, it's not really going to stain clothes, especially if it's more casual clothes like we had. And we were lucky enough that our Airbnb had a washer and dryer so that we could clean everything up as soon as we got there. So that's kind of it. If you guys have any tips for how to pack and travel with beer, leave a comment below. We want to hear them. We want to get some of your tips um, because obviously we didn't do it perfectly. If we do come up with something amazing or find a great tip, we will be sure to include it in future videos. And either way, we have some really great content coming up on our channel soon. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Um, we've got a lot of creative, interesting beers in the works. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.